With 10, a Valley City battling back against the latest trend hitting our streets. Scottsdale even issuing a cease and desist letter after they say the service known as Bird deployed hundreds of electric scooters without meeting with city officials first. ABC 15's John Genovese is in Scottsdale where that meeting finally took place tonight. And John, are the scooters here to stay? Well, yes and no. The city says the scooters can stay as long as the company follows the law and helps its customers do the same. All it takes is a credit card and a few swipes on your phone to get rolling on one of these. And from what we saw today, riders could be putting themselves at risk. First came the green and yellow bikes. Now, these black electric scooters, hundreds of them popping up last week from Old Town to Tempe. Oh, we were just checking the speed out, seeing how the handling works. Seth Martin and Sean Thompson were trying out these birds for the first time. It's fun and it jumps like it's not even that heavy, like you could jump up and so. But the city of Scottsdale is not as thrilled. In the season desist letter, they allege Bird was staging the scooters on public property. The city even threatening to impound the scooters and charge the company 400 bucks a scooter a day. Riding these motorized scooters on the sidewalks is illegal, but tonight everyone we saw on them was doing it. Even this guy who rolled by during our interview. City officials say you can't ride them on streets with speed limits over 25 miles an hour or park them anywhere on public property. Again, we saw both happening, but either way. It's fast, it's convenient, uh, it's cost efficient, it's eco-friendly. Thompson and Martin say they'll be back out soon. Get out, get fresh air, and you know, get out of the house. Now the app does tell you some of those rules. Others are listed in the fine print, and some are on the scooters themselves. Now a bird spokesman tells me tonight they're now requiring riders to take a photo of where they park their scooter once their ride is over. But again, the city hoping they do more to educate customers so they don't break the law. For now in Scottsdale, John Genovese, ABC 15, Arizona.